Hello students, welcome to English 2210, Technical and Professional Writing. Um, this is the Navigating the Course video. In this video, I will be telling you where to find everything that you need to find to succeed in our course. As you'll see, we are on the home area of our Learn page for English 2210. You'll see straight away that you see our course number and you'll see my name. I wanted to clarify that in UNM's system, I come up as Julianne Engberg. However, I go by my maiden name, uh, Julianne Newmark, or Julianne Newmark Engberg, but my students refer to me as Dr. Newmark. You'll see here that I list my drop-in hours, which are basically like office hours in our online context. Um, and I'll talk about all of this on our first day of class. My email address is here, and I want to emphasize that the best way to reach me is via email, via this newmark at unm.edu email address. Don't use the communication features within Blackboard Learn. I may not see that as quickly as you would like. Anyway, without further ado, I want to explain where you're going to find everything in our course. As I said, if you click on the home, this is where you'll come, our start here area. I'm showing this to you in instructor view because I'm recording this before the semester starts so the student view doesn't work right now. Our assignments roll out in project by project chunks. So you will be able to see all of the information pertinent to project one currently, but projects two, three in the portfolio will be visible as we get closer to those. So what you're going to do when our course begins is you're going to click on start here. When you get to start here, um, let's see if it'll show this to us in student view. I don't think it will because the course hasn't started as I said. But in the start here area, you're going to see a lot of content. It's going to look somewhat different on your screen. However, you're going to read through the checklist for the uh, first few days of the class and there's a lot of videos for you to watch. There's a welcome video in which I introduce myself to you. There's this video. There's a video about multimodal composition and there's the syllabus and the course schedule. Those are two really crucial documents that I want you to read in their entirety. I'll come back to those in just a minute. I want to point out that they're located here in the start here area and they're also located here on the left hand sidebar. If you click on the syllabus, you'll see that you have a PDF that includes all of the um, basic details about our class, from what the class is about, to our course outcomes, to the technical equipment you need to have and skills you need to have to succeed in this remote class, um, the expectations in terms of workload, policies, all of the assignments that we are doing in this class, they are quickly described in the syllabus, but they're described much more in each assignment document as we get to each one. I talk about participation, peer review, and I break down all the points for the various assignments. Now there's a special section at the end of the syllabus that has to do with COVID-19 and its impact or potential impact on our course. I want you to take a look at that. The next document that is really important is our course calendar. This document shows you everything at a glance that we'll be doing this semester and the point values associated with all of them. You can scroll through this and see what you'll be doing week by week. I have listed here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, we're going to talk about that on the first day of class, how you're going to organize your work for the class. Um, but I'm just showing it quickly here just so you have a sense of what it looks like. Now there are many different things we're doing in this class. Um, major assignments, which are sometimes videos, sometimes written assignments. There's peer review, there are shorter discussion board assignments, and you'll generally get to the discussion board through the uh, whatever week you're working in. Weeks one and two, for example, I'm showing here, and there um, are discussion boards that are located, they have different icons. So those will be um, more visually apparent to you when you're actually in the class, when the class is live. I've also included another area, another way to get to the discussion board area, which is over here on the left. If you go to the discussion board, you guys won't be able to see all of this when uh, you access the class, but week one, everything's divided up by week, so it's very easy for you all to see week one, week two, week three, 
week four, and these will come up. They'll roll out as they need to be available to you. So that is the discussion board. Um, everything is going to be located in the major project areas from accessing the discussion board to posting the drafts of your assignments to posting your final assignments to completing your quizzes. All of that will be located in the project areas in the appropriate weeks. So that's all you have to know how to do. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown on our class and I've done that so I won't make the video any longer than we need. I'll sign off and I'm really excited to work with you all this semester.